Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check uh, fresh release from Special Hobby. Plastic is molded in 170 second scale and it copies Fuga CM170 Magister. And as you can see this time it, this box is actually dedicated to IAI to kit IAF. Uh, so we basically get the same kit which we saw before but with different markings. Those are Israeli aircraft in 170 second scale and box art actually hints on it as you can see we have here a quite nice picture box size is quite typical for this manufacturer here you can see comparison with my hand and this is a commercial sample so it means you get exactly the same kit if you order it from special hobby website so let's open it and check what is hidden inside but first before this I would like to turn over the box because here we have all the markings which are included into this kit as you can see there are four markings included so this one comes from Israeli aircraft industries to kit number 648 it's uh, late 1980s to 2010 uh, here we have Fuga Magister from Fine School this is a uh, June 1967 this one is also from Fine School this is uh, from post 1967 uh, it's a robotic uh, display team from 1965 to 1975, so it might be an interesting option to copy in small scale. Here we also have the fourth marking option, and it comes from, uh, as you can see, the very first Israeli Fuga ferried from France by IAF Chief, Chief Test Pilot Denis Shapira in November 1957. So this is also quite a notable aircraft. Uh, this is a side opening box, so let's open it. And as you can see, packaging inside is quite tight, I would say. Why? Because we have a lot of plastic sprues packed into the same plastic bag. And also we have assembly manual. Of course, assembly manual, we will check it a bit later. I would like to start with these plastic parts. So let's open it. This is a only easy to open plastic bag so no problems with opening and now in a second we'll take a look at the first gray plastic sprue so here it is let's zoom in a bit so that you can see all those parts closer so as you can see we have wing parts uh, actually wing halves here these are lower halves also we have nose parts uh, some landing gear parts dashboards here Again, landing gear ports here, and I think it's worth bringing this sprue closer so that you can see those parts in detail. So here you can see both dashboards, and here you can see also some of the external parts. There's a nose area, halves as far as I remember here we have various tail section ports, and landing gear legs, and here you can see detailing on the lower wing half. So we have recess panel lines, all the hatches carefully replicated and inside we have guiding pins which will help you with proper alignment of those two bars together. Okay, let's move on. Here we have next grey plastic sprue. This one actually features first fuselage half and also two uh, tail wings as far as I can see. Also we have here the fuel tank, cockpit floor and nose area internal section so let's again bring them closer so that you can see everything in detail so here you can see that fuselage halves of course they feature recess panel lines so i think it won't be difficult to work with them attachment points they're placed on the edges and actually this is really nice because the only attachment point which you have to be careful with is this one here you have just to use a sprue cutter and it will be quite easy here we have also the nose area bay, as far as I remember. Here we also have the cockpit floor. And note that there are some promoted parts, but of course you can upgrade with some aftermarket P. As far as I remember, um, there are some sets available, so you will be able to improve the look. Here we have landing gear wheels and also fans for the engines. And those are tail planes, as far as I remember. So as you can see, they are molded as one piece parts. And again, attachment points, note that uh, there are four attachment points for each part. Okay. Next we have another gray plastic sprue. It is molded like this. 
So here we have two top wing halves. Note that both are molded together with fuel tanks. Also we have a huge choice of the small parts. I guess they will be used for external detailing mostly. For example here you can see the air intake for the engines. And I would like again to bring it closer. And here you can see uh, resist panel lines on those wing parts. Let's flip them over. So of course fuel tanks will have to be glued out of two halves. And again flaps are pre-molded. They will serve as a guiding element for the lower wing halves. Here you can see also the minor parts. So molding quality seems to be fine. Let's not forget about the scale of those uh, parts. This is a 170 second scale. So that's why some parts might look not as sharp as they could be. It's just due to size in my opinion. But overall molding quality seems to be fine. As you can see there are no possible problems like a flash or any other issue which can happen with plastic. Then another grey plastic frame. Here we have another fuselage half and also you know, wheel well parts and pilot seats which are molded as one piece parts by the way. No landing gear wheel bay and I would like to bring them closer as well so that you can see them with your own eyes. So here you can see the main landing gear wheel wells parts. They will have to be installed right into the wings so it will be quite easy. Then also here you can see the pilot seats on two attachment points molded as one piece parts and here again we have the engine fans. So I would like to move to the next plastic bag because it features something interesting. Here we have resin parts as you can see so let's open it and check what will be actually copied with help of resin. So first of all we have here, I guess these parts are specific for IAF version. So that's why here we have, as far as I can understand, this is a nose section. And as you can see this mode is one piece part. Of course you have to delete all those resin parts because otherwise you won't be able to install it properly. Next we have also two types of the dashboard. Here you can see. These are nice resin parts. Here you can see comparison with my finger. They're really tiny. So you can appreciate the detailing of those parts, obviously. And then we have separate covers for various hatches. Here they are. Let's flip them over. Here you can see them from the other side. I'm not sure what those parts will be used for. So we will have to consult this assembly manual. Next one is um, special paddings for pilot seats as far as I understand and also another uh, winding gear door as far as I can guess. So here you can see them. Let's flip them over once again. As you can see those pads have some pre-molded detailing I would say which copies fabric surface and also here we have huge set of tiny parts be sure to use sharp tweezers with this because it will be really easy to lose them. Just to give you an idea about their size here, you can see them with my fingertip. They're really tiny and you have to be careful because as far as I can see there are no spare parts included. So there is no space for mistake. Next we have uh, another plastic bag. This one is dedicated to clear plastic sprue. So let's open it and take a look at this. So here you can see that we have canopy parts, as you remember this is a twin seater, so that's why we have several no, more canopy sections I would say. Molding quality is really great, I don't have any complaints about it, I can even bring these parts closer so that you can see it with your own eyes. Here you can see these parts, really nicely molded parts. But the only thing you will have to keep in your mind is that um, masks are not included into this kit, so you will have to cut them with your own hands or you will have to search for some aftermarket kit because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to mask those movable areas. Next we have another plastic bag. This one is dedicated to decal sheets. And as far as you can see we have here two decal sheets. Both are printed in cartograph. So here is the first one 
I guess this one will be needed for one of the marking options. Printing quality is really great here. I don't have any complaints whatsoever. And then we have another decal sheet. So here, this one is a bit more interesting because um, manufacturer placed here stencils, also some decals for the cockpit. As you can see, we have decals for the dashboards. We also have the seat belts in several versions and also full range of the stencils. This is quite unusual in 120 second scale. So I think uh, many modelers will appreciate it uh, on their small aircraft. And then we have this, so it is assembly manual and it will be interesting to see uh, how this aircraft will be assembled. As you can see, this is a typical brochure. We have short history note in Czech and English here on the first page. Then on the next page, we have parts map and note that many parts won't be used here, but all resin parts will be used. So we start assembly with this cockpit and obviously the plastic um, instrument panels will have to be replaced with resin ports. Then we continue with fuselage house and here we install various parts and note that some are specific for uh, marking options. So be sure to choose the right set of parts. Then we continue with, um, so this resin part, if you remember it, it was a special rear section behind the uh, pilots, behind the second pilot seat. So it will be specific only for the A marking option. Then we install the tail wings. We also assemble the tail section out of two halves. The same goes for the nose section. Now we build wings, landing gear system. Here we install canopy. Of course, canopy can be replicated both in open and closed position. So it will be up to you which one you choose. And all those minor resin parts, they will actually go into canopy parts. Then here we have a marking guide for the marking options which you remember we saw on the rear side of the box. So here is the first marking option, second, third marking option and also here we have the fourth marking option together with fifth which is actually the first Fuga in Israeli Air Forces. And on the rear or the last page we have other 170 second scale model kits offered by Special Hobby. Some of them were reviewed on our YouTube channel, so we recommend to check it because they were quite interesting as well. So that's all for this video review. Um, as you can see, we have another interesting version of the small Fuga in 170 second scale. And now it will be interesting for those who would like to replicate the Israeli aircraft. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support us financially by pressing the donate button on our website and choosing the amount you would like to send us via PayPal. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.